Co Coach was talking about how it's tough to lose against a team like this, but playing against a team this good shows you what you know what you guys need to do to be a good team. Can you just talk? I mean, can you just talk about? I mean, the way this team has separated itself from the rest of the league, and do you think there's anybody even in the Aces class in the league this year? Um, I mean, they just have really good players. Like one through seven can go off and score twenty any night, and I don't think so. Just because they have the talent and they have the chemistry, they've played together for a really long time, and that's a hard combination to beat. So I think in a series, anyone's going to have a lot of trouble beating them. What did you like about the way you guys you guys responded to their 11-0 run with one of your own? You got within two points. I think in the second half, it was basically a, a pick em game. And what, what did you like about what you did today? I thought we were really aggressive with them, just trying to uh, make them uncomfortable in what they're doing. Uh, you know, Asia had like 30. But for the most part, I thought we just gave resistance. And then we kind of have ebbs and flows of that, and that's when they went on their runs. You can't relax against a team like this because all of a sudden you're down by 15, 20, and it's just really hard to make that up. But like I said, for the most part, I think that we just gave resistance at every opportunity that we could. Do you feel like this was the most emotion that Diamond showed out there on the court today? You know, it seemed when she was getting her shots, she's yelling at them and getting into the game a little bit more. And how, you know, Diamond's uh, defense also creates her offense. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think this is the most emotional I've seen you on the court. I think she's been, she's just an emotional player. Like, it's fun. It's not a bad thing. No, it's like, I feel like people are like, never mind. Go. Well, I was just saying from, you is like you scoring, but then it was also like you was getting into the game by like yelling at the bench, you know, just getting in, you know, getting into it, being a little chippy. This is the most chippiness I've seen in a while from you. We're competitors. I don't think like nothing is intentional. I don't think I'm being chippy. I'm just playing basketball and being passionate. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that in a bad way though. I well, think it's I think it's I good to see some, that. Whatever. It's okay. Yeah, I think it's good to see that. Mm -hmm. But um, talk about just K-Mac. She, she finally got a couple of shots to go in, you know, in the second half, how that can kind of roll over for her from, you know, from a positive standpoint. Yeah, seeing shots go down obviously is a huge confidence boost. Um, and when Mac's making shots, it's obviously really helpful because it draws the defense out. So I'm glad that she saw a couple go down today. For other player, they got a lot of points off turnovers again today. And I know that's kind of been an up and down for this squad this year. Any particular rhyme or reason on that? I feel like we've been talking about it, um, especially after today's loss. We're realizing that there's always one quarter where something happens where we don't play to the best of our abilities. Because I feel like throughout the whole game, overall, we were staying with them. And then that second quarter really hurt us. And that's because it was just turnovers and we weren't getting shots at the basket. So definitely that's what makes the really great teams versus the good teams is consistently being able to compete at a high level for 40 minutes. And obviously we're having ups and downs and we're trying to get to that. So I think it's just part of our journey. Yeah, and I think offensive you know, turnovers for the most part is a lack of focus. Like we are making plays that we know we're not supposed to. You know, going high, they're really long, not things like that, like things that are avoidable. Um, so again, you can't have possessions or quarters or long stretch of the time where you're not locked in against a team like this because they'll just take advantage every time and you're just you've dug yourself a hole that's hard to get out of. Have you ever been called for multiple three second Oh my gosh. They the must have game. had a meeting like before this game because they were looking for it. <laughs> they had to Uh, for Diamond, um, Coach uh, just told us that one of her favorite matchups, I think, in the league right now is you uh, against Chelsea Gray, and that she was very pleased with the way you responded to how uh, Chelsea in particular, but the whole uh, Aces team targeted you and uh, tried to play against you. Uh, what is it like playing against her? And then also just now that all of the games, all of your games against the Aces are in the rear view, what have you learned in these games uh, against the class of the league? I know the results of the game doesn't, it's not what I want, it's not what the team wants, but overall, I don't know, as a rookie, I just feel like it's so much fun playing against them. They're really talented. It's something that, like, Fee's an all-star, and I play with and against all-stars, like, almost every night, and that's really fun for me. I love basketball, I love to be competitive, I love to be, like, 
she's really good. Let's see what I could do against that. It's like kind of like I challenge myself, and that is a big challenge for me. I mean, my defense is, you know, it's part of my game that is something that I really am trying to work better at. And I feel like the coaching staff has told me <laughs> against her is really tough, you know? And like sometimes when I was taking breaks on defense, she capitalized on it. So it's just constantly like the evolution of my game. But yeah, as a competitor, I'm like so happy to play against her. It's like really cool. Um, Fee, for you, just what is it like for you to see the way that, that Diamond competes in battles over the course of a over the course of a game? Like you know that there there are going to be mistakes on, on one end or the other, but the way that she's able to follow those up very quickly with um, you know with success on on both ends of the floor. Just what has it been like for you to kind of witness how she's growing over the course of a game? It's really cool, and you can see like the growth that Diamond's had already this season as she's gone along like she's so eager to learn and as she just said like she's super passionate and a competitor so it's really fun to play with that and then she's also really coachable like if you tell her something she will try to the best of her ability to do that and that's why I think that she's been able to get better so fast this season um, and then also something I really appreciate about Diamond is like she has a short memory when it comes to that on the court if she makes a mistake, it's not going to stop her from trying to attack again or trying to learn from that or she doesn't get in her head about that, which is really hard to do, like especially as a rookie when you're trying to find your place on the team, you're trying to adjust your game to a new style. Um, so that's something that I've appreciated about her since the beginning and um, you know I hope she continues to do. And then the also for you, just what is the biggest challenge that Asia presents in terms of the way that, you know, not only is she able to score, but in but the way that she's able to make, you know, easy plays for others and get others open shots in a game like this. Yeah, Asia's really talented. Um, I think the biggest thing that's hard for us is she's really long, so closing out to her, she has a high shot. So um, you just got to contest and hope she misses, honestly. Like, just do the best that you can, make it hard for her to catch it, make sure that we're there clogging it. But, again, she's really long and we're not super tall. So just doing everything we can to dis disrupt her. And then Diamond, for you, you, you talked about just relishing in the fact you get to go up against the best players in, in the in the world in the league every every game. Just what do you think you've learned the most from from being able to compete with with the Aces about yourself? Um, one thing I feel like I learned just from like watching Fee and like the other like All Stars is the consistent consistency level. Um, it's really rare, and even when Fee has aka bad games they're still good games to somebody else so that's what I'm learning is like consistently doing it every night it's hard in the W we play pretty much some weeks you're playing three to four games a week and still being able to show up for your team is something that makes a good player to a great player so just constantly being able to consistently be a dog every day it's hard in this lead and different people play you different ways and stuff like that and you just got to still get buckets and play good defense and stuff and that's what I pretty much learned is the consistency consistency level of like the dogs of the lead is top tier thank you